the thing with John's Gospel is that, that what's implicit in Matthew, Mark, Luke in terms of Jesus' relationship with the Father becomes so explicit in John. Uh, so you can derive a strong view of Jesus' divinity and the Trinity and so on out of the synoptics, but you're kind of looking for the elements of it, whereas in John's Gospel it's constant. My Father, the Father and the Son, and I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And that whole mutual indwelling reality of the Trinity, the deep interpersonal connection uh, of the Trinity is what makes John so blatantly different. And so you, you get that glimpse of, of, of the reality of the Trinity and then what comes with that is the invitation uh, in terms of Jesus makes his Father known to us, Jesus draws us in uh, so that he can become our Father, so that by the end of the Gospel he says to his disciples, uh, your Father and my Father. You know, and it's that, that sense of we're being drawn into the relationship of the Trinity. So I think that's, that's what makes John just jump off the page when you spend time in it.